Brent in Littleton, Colorado, which is right down the street from us, he writes, and he says, Paul, it appears recently Apple has officially entered the hi-fi space offering high-res audio up to 24192. Yes! I mean, they've got, what, 70 million songs? Uh, I mean, th these guys are, this is the real deal. Uh, as a, compar at, at a uh, excuse me, a comparatively uh, cheaper price than Tidal or Cobuzz. Any thoughts on which service in 2021 is the best to subscribe to as an audiophile? Apple does have a rather extensive library. Well, yeah, so let's, let's figure out some stuff first. What does it actually mean? If you are an audiophile and interested in high quality recordings that are streaming, I think your best bet is still Cobuzz. I have never been a fan of Tidal. I don't like the way Tidal stuff sounds. I certainly don't like MQA, so I don't play with any of that stuff. And Cobuzz so far has really been excellent. Now, I am warming up towards Apple. Apple so far isn't really available through oh, a, a great music management program like Rune or Audervana. Those are great sounding programs. And there's a problem with Apple. And, and let me tell you what that is. For most streaming of Apple Music, depending on what kind of device you're having to get that music, you're going to be stuck with having one format sample rate bit depth that you're going to have to stick with. And here's why. And I, and I recommend CD quality because, look, if we back up a little bit, Apple was always a huge library, but it kind of sucked because it was always lossy. They had their, what was it called, Apple Audio Codec or something, it was AAC. And it was their version of MP3. It sounded better, but it definitely wasn't lossless. And, and so no audiophile worth their salt ever played with Apple. But now Apple is giving you lossless CD quality and above. That's a great thing. So if most of your listening, and I got to tell you, most of my listening, even on Cobuzz, is at CD quality. Because the vast majority of that 7 million, 70 million, however many they got, 90% of it is going to be CD quality. So from that aspect, this is great. And Apple is going to be high on my list to maybe go with at CD quality. We get enamored with this idea of higher resolution, 192.24, and it does sound better. But with Apple, you have to go through their Apple device so far. And when you do that, the sample rate and bit depth are set in the audio MIDI setting of Apple computers. And if you were to play a 192, it would down convert it if you had it set to CD quality. Or if you had it set to 192, if you play a 192, you're in great shape. If you play anything else, it's going to upsample it to 192. And their upsample and their downsample does not work for me and does not sound good. So I would avoid those like the plague. So if you're gonna go with Apple Music, stay at the CD quality, and for 95%, 99% of everything you're gonna to listen to, it's gonna be great. I love it. Me, the moment I'm sticking with Cobas. That's still, still my go-to favorite, but I'm warming up. Okay, let's keep watch on it. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.